Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for April 22nd to the 30th, so this is basically for the end of April. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This reading may or may not resonate with you. We're just going to see what comes up. This is for Capricorn. <laughs> oh, the Empress reversed. Hmm. Interesting. Let's get some more cards. Ooh. Now, this is like... Playing a game here. You got some people playing a game. Somebody's gonna get hurt. Somebody's gonna get stung. Okay. Somebody and this guy's just standing here watching these people play, compete. Thinks it's funny. So that's interesting. You could be dealing with a player, Capricorn. You could be dealing with somebody who likes to play games. This is a game and this is a game. You could be dealing with somebody who likes to play games. Perhaps you don't know your worth and you're playing the game too. You know, if you are the female watching this, you probably don't know your worth. I mean, the Empress Reverse, this is a woman who chases. She chases opportunities. She's smothering. She's selfish. She's, uh, she's got a big ego. She needs attention. If you are the male watching this, you could be dealing with a woman who needs attention. She needs attention. She um, she may be chasing you. I don't know. This woman right here, she doesn't know her worth. She lacks self-confidence and self-esteem. She doesn't wait for opportunities to come to her. You know, the empress in the upright, she's waiting. She's, she knows her worth and she waits for the opportunity to come after her. But we definitely have somebody that is playing games here. Whether it's you, Capricorn, or the person you're dealing with. Somebody is playing games. Ooh. Ten of Cups. This is happiness. But it's, this is the, a completion. Okay? It's the end. It's the end of something. This could be a wife. This could be a partner. This is the completion of a relationship that will bring you peace. It will bring you the ultimate happiness, but it's after a completion. So happiness is coming. This is around the corner. It's coming. But there's some sort of... upheaval here. There is some sort of upheaval here. Oh, there's lack of courage, lack of confidence. There's fear getting in the way. Four of Swords reversed. Of taking a new approach. This is needing to take a new approach. This is needing to come out of hiding. This is needing to coming out of recovery this is coming out of a period of recovery it's time to live again wow the knight of wands reversed mirroring the knight of swords reversed somebody's doing an awful lot of thinking and not taking action this is a period of stagnation, but this is coming to it. This is this is right now. It's like coming out of it, though. There may be too much going on, though. There's some sort of pain that is being released. Oh, my God. Whew. Reality check. I think there's a partnership. A union that is coming to an end. I do. The six of the, the lovers reverse. 
It's like somebody is realizing, because this is realizing, the moon reverse is realizing that something isn't meant to be. Could be with a wife, could be with a partner. You know, this is the Empress is usually a wife. But it looks like this wife has been holding or whoever this person is, whether it's a wife or not, this person has been holding somebody back from happiness. This is a union that is not compatible. It's not meant to be. Yep. There's there's some anxiety. There's definitely some fear here. There's fear of... of Letting go of the, that old idea. There's fear of letting go of go of that old union. There is. There is. This is this is needing to live again, accepting reality, seeing things clearly, seeing the truth that this union is no more. There's a partnership that is no more, and we have somebody here that is been distraught, losing sleep unable to take action in regards to their own happiness perhaps playing a game with another person that doesn't reciprocate there's no real love there there's no love there's i'm sorry but there isn't with the lovers reverse it's not compatible there's no union and somebody has been fearful of taking action. They've been anxious. There's been depression here. But this is seeing things clearly. It's like seeing the truth. It's time to live again. So I feel like you guys are realizing, this is realizing that it's time to live again. It's time to come out of this stagnation. But things are a little bit still un balanced in your life. You may have too many irons in the fire. All right, you may be doing quite a bit at this time and therefore you're not really able to go after your happiness. But happiness is around the corner, but it's like you're not taking action because of a union that is no more. It's like there's a there's a union that isn't compatible. Okay, it's not compatible. It's not peaceful. It's not harmonious. It's not it's bringing conflict into your life, put it that way. You've got a union that is bringing conflict into your life. And it's time to live again. So I don't know what that means for you, but it looks like, you know, somebody may make you feel like you're less than worthy. You may feel like you're not good enough. You may not have the ambition or drive, or you just may not see. You may not see that there's an opportunity you may not see that there's an opportunity for happiness. You may be, um, you just may not have the energy. You may not have the energy to put into yourself this week. I'm not sure why. It just feels like you're, you're less than passionate about something. About taking any action whatsoever. I feel like you guys aren't taking much action this week. We have the Knight of Swords reversed, the Knight of Pentacles reversed, and the Knight of Wands reversed, okay? And the Queen of Wands reversed tells me that I think that you're starting to see things more clearly. I think that you've de you're dealing with some sort of depression, perhaps. You may be in some sort of depression because you know it's time to live again. You know it's time to let go of these old ways, okay, with that Four of Swords reversed. But I'm not sure that you can take any action for some reason maybe you're dealing with an individual who is miserable you could be dealing with a miserable misery loves company and they're holding you back from taking action um, maybe you're afraid to make a poor financial decision by f going after happiness I feel as though you know you're not taking a lot of action or whoever you're dealing with isn't taking action okay they're not making any moves because there's lack of courage for one thing whether it's you or the other person there's definitely lack of confidence and courage here there's lack of ambition there's lack of drive there may be lack of finances as well but I do see that there's a union here that is not compatible and I think that you are not happy about it I think that there's sadness 
there may be some grieving, There's, there could be some grit, guilt, there could be some regrets. You may be all in your thoughts over what happened, you know, how could this happen? But I think you realize, okay, this is realizing the truth being revealed. You realize that this is not compatible. You know, you know that it's time to, you know, come out of this period of stagnation, go after your happiness. Um, you could be dealing, you could have another woman here that, you know, you don't, you don't see her worth, I don't know, or she doesn't see her worth, or something like that, ah, this temperance, this, this is a transition, this is evolving, this is patience, okay, patience is needed, healing is needed, um, you may be restraining yourself because you're going through a period of healing right now, um, I think for a lot of you, you're trying to keep things balanced, right? You're, you're doing everything in your power to keep things balanced. You're, I think, And you may be giving a lot of your energy to several different things that are causing an imbalance. And you're doing everything in your power to keep things harmonious in your life, right? This is the end, the end of a troublesome situation, the end of a painful situation. The, and you notice where I put it right over this, this lover's card, reversed. This, it's the end of a union that is no more, that isn't, it's, it's coming to an end. It's time for a change. This is change. So I think a lot of you, some of you are dealing with a partner, a wife, or I don't know who, somebody that, you know, everything has changed. It's not what it used to be. It's not compatible anymore. There's a lot of bickering. There's a lot of fighting. It's like somebody is standing in the background watching, laughing at this. Or, you know, I don't know who it is. But it's like it's a big joke. And it's not a joke. I know it's not a joke. It's painful. It's hurtful. I think that you're dealing with a chaotic partnership of some sort or a union that just isn't meant to be. And I think that you may have, uh, you know, you know that it's time to heal. You know that it's time for a change, but there's regrets and there's guilt. You may be feeling guilty or like you did something wrong or how could this happen? But I think you realize that this isn't compatible and it's time for it to end. This is a completion. It's, the worst is over. It's like, this is, it's the end. The Dead of Swords is the end. It's not realistic. It's not practical. And I think that you realize that. You probably realize that there's no growth. There's no passion left in this situation. There's an opportunity for happiness here. Woohoo! So, yeah. There's an, there's an opportunity for happiness. But you may not be uh, accepting it. You may not be grounded. You may not feel like it's realistic right now. You may be dealing with an individual. You may have a choice between two options here. And you may be dealing with an individual who is stubborn. You may be dealing with a pushy individual. You may be dealing with somebody that is... Or you, because this could be you. You may be focused on everything but love right now. You may be focused on your money. You may be focused on your home. You may be focused on your business. You may be focused on everything but love when there is an opportunity for happiness here you may not be seeing the opportunities you may not be being realistic you know you need to bring balance you need you should be able to balance out love and money and somebody isn't doing that or love and family love and relationships love and, or love and work whatever it is like i think we have somebody here that is focusing on everything but love and therefore they're you know <laughs> not getting the love that they truly deserve, okay? So I really feel like we have somebody here that is also focusing on a union that is not meant to be when there's an opportunity for happiness. They're focusing on a, it's time for a change. It's time to evolve. It You know, it's time to allow yourself to be happy. But we definitely have some sort of guilt here over falling in love so i th oh my goodness gracious so yeah capricorn you definitely have an opportunity for love here and if you look what's on the bottom okay 
you have an you have an opportunity for love here. Okay, could be with another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, you have an opportunity for love, but I think that the the opportunity isn't being realized or it isn't being accepted because you're focusing on everything but love, and or you're focusing on a union that isn't meant to be. Oh my God, take a look at that. You, this is this is ego. The, this is ego. The devil is ruled by ego. So it's like you're full. Look at look at you. It's like you have it all. There's only one thing missing, love. There's an opportunity for love here. There is. But there's lack of courage and there's no movement. It's time for a change. It's time to come together. The time is now. That is the time is now. Maybe it's time for you to put yourself back in the game. Maybe it's maybe it's time for you to, you know, maybe you're afraid to get stung by love. You know, it's like I don't I don't dare to fall in love. What if what if I fall in love? And maybe you're afraid of love because you were dealing with a person that let you down. We do have somebody here that is burying themselves in everything but love to protect themselves, but they want love. This relationship that wasn't love is going to come to an end, or it has come to an end. And it happened because you deserve the gold, right? You deserve it all. You deserve peace. You deserve harmony. So I really feel like... You have a golden opportunity being offered to you. If you can let go of your ego. The best things in life aren't things. There's an opportunity for new love here. Don't let your guilt, get, don't feel guilty for for following your heart there's an opportunity for love here Capricorn after a completion this is a completion of a partnership that isn't meant to be you got to be practical here and I think that you are I think that you're realizing that you have an opportunity but this opportunity could be slipping away. Okay, we could have somebody here that is deciding that there's there's no action being taken that I need to accept the truth. I mean, I don't know. Let's get a couple of these. Um, let go of your fears. Let go of your worries. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty. You have an opportunity for love here. And I think it's a perfect match. But we could have somebody that's giving up. And it could be because the other person doesn't see their worth. I mean, I don't know what, what this is. But somebody is needing to make a choice between two paths for sure. And it's like they're just stalling. We got somebody here that's stalling, definitely stalling. There's lack of courage, there's there's guilt, there's regrets, there's anxiety. But there's knowing the truth, too. It's like, I know the truth, I know that this is over. I do. Somebody knows that, that there's a relationship that's over. And they know that there's another opportunity for love. But they're still holding on to the ending when it's already over when there's, there's, there's an opportunity to come together I think with a perfect match but you gotta let go of the one that doesn't see your value or isn't reciprocating or you know whatever that is there's an opportunity for a lot of happiness here if you could whatever balance love and work Pay attention to the red flags. The best things in life aren't things. The signs are cautioning you. 
Somebody could be losing a golden opportunity because they aren't taking any action. We have somebody here that isn't taking action in the right direction because they're, it's like they're still playing with somebody who isn't reciprocating. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. I think you have an opportunity for love with somebody that you have known before. Somebody that you have known probably for a long time. Could be a past life relationship. Could be somebody that you knew who knows when. Somebody that you know by looks of things. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Allow yourself to have fun. What's meant to be is meant to be. And I feel like there's a relationship here that isn't meant to be. And there's an opportunity for, you know... A reconciliation with somebody that you that you know is perfect with for you. That's what I see. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Pisces. We have Taurus and Libra. We have Sagittarius. We have a lot of Earth here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have everybody, so it doesn't really matter. We're going to get you guys one of these as well. It's time to have fun. It's time to live again. It's time to, time to come out of this period of stagnation and find love. There's an opportunity for love here with somebody that I think you may have, you know, you may have a soul contract with this person. I don't know. That's what I feel anyway. The ocean, the deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing womb brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean. Allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. Maybe you take this new person or whoever this person is. Maybe you guys go to the ocean you know, that's, a, that's an option, right? I love the ocean. It is very healing. So the ocean plays a part somehow. I don't know. There's an opportunity for love here, Capricorn, with somebody that you have known before. I think you know who it is. It's time. The time is now. With that temperance card. Divine timing. Don't let things. Get in the way. Of love. Good luck.